Hi there, this is Anastasia Halders, aka Coach Ace. Welcome to Ace of Rich Freedom by Design's YouTube channel, the place to come to learn how to make money online because nobody teaches digital marketing like Ace and Rich. Thank you so much for stopping by this video. If it's your first time here, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I'm going to share with you if PixTeller is actually easy to use as a design platform or is it hard to use? Now, if you don't know what PixTeller is, think of Canva. I rest my case. Basically, it's a design tool, a free online tool that will allow you to create unlimited designs and graphics for social media and also for your marketing. Now, here's the thing. They do have a paid upgraded option just like Canva does. But what I want to share with you today is how I use it to get increased engagement on social media as all my platforms as far as Instagram and Facebook. And on top of that, I'm going to be making a next set of videos for you. If you actually want me to, I can show you how I make some of those images. So let's take a look at the features and let's see what PixTeller is all about. Now, right here, what we see here is the PixTeller.com website. And this is the main home page in the dashboard. Once you log in, you basically create a profile, username and password, and it's gonna let you in just like it would Canva. And here they give you recommended ideas where you could just get it going, right? And what I like about this site is the fact that they have everything here that I would possibly need to use for my marketing, social media images, I can use animated posts, I can even create YouTube thumbnails. Now I use this website multiple times for different things. And I'm gonna share with you how I do that. But let's keep looking at what is so great about PixTeller. As you can see, you have pretty much a lot of options. You can create social media posts, you can do marketing things, you can do events, you can do banner designs and graphics. Facebook covers for your Facebook groups or your event. You can also make a blog header. You can do some branding here. You can literally create uh, animated YouTube art and other types of designs. You can even make a mock-up and you can even make posters. This is awesome. Now what's great about this site that I like is they give you the option to test it out, use it for free and create up to five images. And that's what I pretty much did. And that's how come I have not yet upgraded because I'm still new to it. But what I love about it so far, I just cannot bite my tongue and not tell you is the fact that I've been able to create pretty much any image I want and just keep rinse and repeating and using the same templates. And that's what I like about it because it gets me things done and fast and simple. Now let's say for example, you are not an expert in Photoshop. I am by no means a graphic artist or designer in Photoshop. But I am a graphic artist designer by freelance and I can use PixTeller to do whatever I want and still look like I am actually good at Photoshop. How would you like to do that for yourself? So let's take a look here. Let's say for example, you know, you're brand new and you want to try to make your first social media image. All you do is either you either click the editor to do a custom design and you can actually size it or you could go to social e uh, media images and actually pick from the theme of templates. Look at this. You've got everything here that you could choose from. They're all perfectly sized, bright colors, great pop outs. I mean, there's so much to choose from. So let's say on your Facebook, you want to put a quote for the day. So we could go here. I mean, there's like over pages and pages of choices that you could pick from. How about this, for example? Let's pick this one. What you want to do is, is let's say you like this, te this theme, just click use. And that's fairly simple to do. I can click. Okay. Now let's take a look at this. You want to change the quote. All you do is click on the text. You can either click on the text and change it like this by double clicking and editing it, right? And I'll type in life moves pretty fast, right? Life moves pretty fast. So if I put that like that, and then let's say, for example, I wanted to change the text the other way. I can do it this way as well. Life moves. See how it's moving? Pretty fast. So I can do it in the box right here towards the left, or I can do it inside. Now that's fairly simple to do. I don't think that's hard at all. But what about the image? Hmm. You know, that's a really good question. How do we change the background of the image? How about this? Click on the image, go right here to where it says replace image. And now they have their own gallery of loads of copyright zero images for you to use for free. So you can go over here and put a keyword in the search bar and say you wanted to use, um, let's say palm trees. Let's see if there's any palm trees. Oh, look at this. There's lots of great images for palm trees. So let's say I want to get this one right here. 
fabulous. Look at the quality of the image. It's great, right? And let's say you were using this for Instagram. Honey, all you got to do is drag and drop and change things. That's as easy as that. I love that, don't you? And there's also other great features. You can add shapes. You can add images. You can even add your own image just by clicking the upload button and upload your own image from your desktop background. Okay, right here from your desktop. Click the plus sign and it automatically will add the image for you. So that's great. You could even put the image to the background just like this by dragging it, hold it. And let's say you want to send it to the back by right clicking, look, it'll send it to the back. And if I've got that back there, I can just delete it and just use this. I mean, fairly, fairly simple. I'm just doing things on the fly, just showing you how simple and easy and fast it is. Now let's say you wanna save this image. All you do is go over here to where it says title it's pretty much set up a little bit like Canva. I like this. And then you just give it a file name. So I'll call it test a banner. And then you go ahead right over here to the yellow button, save image. After it saves it, okay, it's going to leave it here because in case you want to make any additional changes, then you have to be requested to save it again. But we're not going to do that for this demo. We're going to click download and now it's going to download. Here's your great image and you have the option to use the image edit the image some more or download it to your PC. So we're going to click download and look at this. This will always pop up, especially if you're using the free account. So what I want you to know is don't panic when it comes up. All you do is just click download PNG and it automatically will download the image for you. Now, as it's downloading, it's looking for a place to put it. So I'll put it in my pictures and as simple as that there it is down below it's letting me know my taskbar that is downloaded you see that but if you want to upgrade to the pix teller pro all you do is click upgrade to premium and look at the price point here they're telling you find the plan that works for you you can use it for free and when you use it for free it's forever it's forever and you pretty much let's say you want to use this for like the first three months to try it out and see if you want to use it and maybe you want to use it forever but you also want to get the unlimited features if that's the case then you might as well upgrade to the diamond right the diamond is only twelve dollars a month when you break it down it's pretty much 144 dollars a year and on top of that you have access to a million photos 500,000 illustrations 100,000 shapes jpegs pdf downloads folders transparent pngs upload custom fonts, gradient colors, GIF exports for animations. Those are great for social media. MP4 GIF download options, priority support. So you're gonna get some assistance from PixTeller staff. More features to come. That means the more stuff that they got rolling out as a diamond, that is the best value for you, you can actually upgrade to diamond. Now I got a little secret for you. I've been using this for a while now and it's winning my heart over and I'm like, oh my God, do I upgrade with Canva? Or do I upgrade with PixTeller? And I honestly believe 100% I am definitely upgrading to the diamond after this video. <laughs> and I will be using this forever. Why? Because it's letting me do more here for my marketing than I have ever done with Canva. So I'm glad to share this with you guys. I mean, this is great. Let me know how PixTeller is working out for you. Take a look at it, PixTeller.com and, uh, you know, be sure to come back to this video if you need to, to see the way I actually walk you through it. And on top of that, comment below any questions that you have. And also, if you'd like to see any you know, tips, tricks, tutorials on PixTeller, let me know. I'd love to do them for you. I'm learning more and more about this thing, and I'm doing a lot of crazy stuff, ace style back here that I would love to share with you guys, especially for your marketing online. Other than that, thank you so much for stopping by this video today. Click the notification bell so you don't miss a beat and be sure to subscribe to our channel. And also on top of that, if you're pretty much looking for a way to make money online and you really want to understand what it's all about as far as digital marketing and affiliate marketing, click the link below this video. It'll take you to a page where you can enter in your best email address and it'll give you all the information you need to make that decision. With that being said, my name is Anastasia Hodge, a.k.a. Coach Ace, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.